A very warm welcome everyone and Cyborg Terminator fans. My name is Nick and we're looking at Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines on the Game Boy Advance published by Atari in 2003. It's an isometric shooter sort of thing with two difficulty levels, password saved and I think 10 different levels. We'll see how this one plays, but of course it's based on Terminator 3 the movie, also from 2003, which is directed by Jonathan uh, Mosto, I think. Starred Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, and uh, actress and model Kristana Loken as the TX, which is like a, well, an advanced Terminator, which you can see in this title page here. I've never played this before, but graphically, so far, the pre presentation is awesome. Here's the different levels. We haven't unlocked any of those. So, level one. This is good, so far. Right, I've been reactivated to serve the human resistance. The machines are your enemy. Right, check. Check, Captain, whoever you are. Right, now give me information on a need-to-know basis. So it's all about learning the controls first of all. There's Arnie walking into this uh, post-apocalyptic place in 2032. There he is. I'll be back, he says. And he meets this person. Right. Terminator, it's time to show us what you can do when you're on our side. Here's some ammo to help you make your way east to the next drop. Right, so I need to go to the next door. So I need to go east. Right, there's a hand grenade. Which way's east? On the top left, there's a compass. Um... Yeah, this feels a bit weird to control. So I'm in walking mode. What other modes can you do? Uh, I think if you hit the B button, you can do something. There's a robot there, so I've got to destroy him first of all, I presume. Die! You'll see my energy level below my face there in the bottom left-hand corner. That does gradually turn to a cyborg, I think, as you lose your energy. Die! Right, that's him blown up. And there's something to collect there. What's that? This keycard will allow you to open the next door. Oh, good. So it's a search and solve, this. Grenades. Uh, this music's a little bit monotonous. So I've got a handgun, or I've got grenades, and there's the run mode. What else can we do? Straff. Oh, we can walk sideways. Can we do a moonwalk? Yes. Let's have another go at this. Who's bad? Me. Bad to the bone. Ba -ba 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 bad. Um, I'm a little bit bored already. Anyway, the controls of this feels a little bit clunky, although graphically it is good. Meet with the command on the upper platform. He's been exploring some of the Skynet bunkers, so yeah. Oh, okay, so we've got to go up and up and up. The animation on this is a bit dodgy. I'm in two minds about this. I mean, this bit's quite cool, where everything goes into infrared. Cutscenes are okay, graphics are okay, it's, animation is, is is weird. It feels like he's floating every now and again. Oh, it's another thing to blow up. Die, Skynet, die. Gameplay is a bit basic here. Um, I don't think I'm liking it so far, pretty as it is. Very clunky. Right, we need to meet our man. Hopefully the game gets more excited as we go on. I do have some level skip modes or some password codes to jump to different levels. We won't see all of them, but um, we'll see a few. Now, if you've got two Game Boys, you could connect this for multiplayer shootout. It might get a bit more exciting then. So you can run, you can strafe, and you can... That's it, really. Run and walk. Hooray. Right, I was, going, I was testing out the infrared there. I don't know how to do that, but it went red when you pause it. So perhaps that's how you do it. You see on my face in the bottom left, it's looking like it's, well, it's got holes in it, isn't it? So we're losing energy all the time. But you can shoot barrels like this to get more energy. Boom. Right, there we go. Where is our contact? Um, you could be wandering around for hours here. I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa. Boom. Right. I was hoping to go to infrared and see a secret person disguised. Meet with the command on the upper platform. So we can only see him in infrared, I think, if we've got enough energy. Well, that sounds a bit dodgy. We'll see if we can find him. If not, we'll uh, we'll get out of here and we'll go to another level. No sense of being a wally brain about it. Up, up and away, that's a hand grenade. And there's a fossil there stopping us to get forward. Um, let us in. No, can't see the commander. Uh, yeah. This could go on a bit. I think it might be time soon for a sometime later thing. 
And the force field's here as well. So how do you get up to the upper platform if both... Yeah, he's not about. How do you get up to the upper platform if there's two force fields? Anyway, uh, let's just try another level. Uh, that was a bit doomsday. That was very boring, that. So you'd, you'd have to ex um, describe this as a, a shooter 3D isometric exploring game. Right, now to type in a code. I think this is the last level. This is jump to the last level, so the final bit of the film, when you're versus the TX, Kristana Loken. I like your gun, she used to say, but in a more womanly voice than what I've got. Judgment Day is closing in. You have to help Connor and me to get past whatever she said. Right, good cutscene. It's a shame this game. These graphics are good. Cutscenes are good, the music's good, the presentation's brilliant, but the gameplay is just so poor. Maybe it'll improve here. Maybe I'm doing too harsh on it. Did you own this game? What did you think? But it, from a control point of view, it's a little bit flawed. Right, we can find missiles now. Right, there's the TX. We need to distract her so my chums can um, get wherever they need to get to. So we're running around the dance floor. Hello, over here, and I'm dead. Energy exhausted. It's the TX Terminator. Now, she uh, can control vehicles, and she's got a machine gun thing as well. I don't think I can make this any easier than it is, uh, but I'm not enjoying it. It's not a game I'll be coming back to. If you can find it cheap enough, don't buy it. Yeah, they could have done better with a Terminator license here. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and I wish they hadn't risen. Yeah, you can die quite quickly here as this TX fire smart assault at you. Well, John Connor, how many times does he have to be saved in games? Lots. My impression of this game is a uh, flawed control system, graphically okay, um, good cutscenes. I'd have to say it's okay, it's middling, but gameplay suffers. If it wasn't for the presentation, it, I'd, yeah, it'd be awful. Run, run, run. I mean, this running about is a bit pointless, but that's a regeneration chamber there if you run out of energy. The TX is invincible while a plasma cannon is operable, so we need to destroy that somehow. Or we could just get out of here and do a separate level again. A bit like when we did the review of Batman, we jumped to different levels, we'll do the same here. Yeah, I want to hide into nothing. Arnold Schwarzenegger never run around like this. Uh, just die, die TX. Oh god. Christina Loken does us again. Right, next level I think, or another level. I will be editing this down. So, we're jumping around. Right, this is level two, I think. I've written the codes from a cheat site on the internet because, um, well, I'm sneaky like that. If you complete this game all in one go, then let me know. Freeway system. I've done well. Well, you know. Okay, have you got that? Memorise that. I'm sure it'll be important as the next bit will come up. Right, we need to retrieve a power pack. That's all you basically need to know. And we're on the freeway system. Right, Skynet portal device is designed to spawn enemies. Right, okay. So enemies are going to spawn. There's one. Actually, I prefer this bit of gameplay. Yeah, this is a little bit better. So enemies are going to keep spawning. We need to keep killing them up until a certain point. Now, there is an energy recharge chamber, I think, somewhere on this level. Might be in the corner on the other side, but everyone's, everything's attacking me. They look pretty basic. I don't think Skynet are going to take over the world like this. Probably some sort of virus would have been better. Right, more health. So destroying uh, enemies does get you extra health when you pick that up. Pretty he can't fly. Right, two more. Right, there's a recharge chain there on the right as I thought. I don't seem to be taking too much damage. But these spawning enemies are annoying. Don't know how many we have to shoot before it's game over. Right, can we do it? Right, respawn. Missed it. Maybe next time round. Oh, the face is back to basic um, Terminator. We've lost our endoskeleton. Or exoskeleton with the skin. Let's get in here. Boo! Oh, we will generate. There we go, what a makeover. And we're back to being Arnie again. Or at least a very dodgy, digitalised version of Arnie. Doesn't look very muscular, does he? We should be able to take these two twits if we can keep regenerating. Right, mission completed, it says. Out we go. So 
so I completed at least one mission. That chip was a Skynet trap. Oh, look out. It was a trap, and that's the only mission I completed. Are they going to respawn? Yeah, they're respawning again. Boo hiss. So we've got white energy bars letting us know how much, well, how near they are to destruction. Which is something. A bit full stoppy, these shooting, but I don't know what else they could have done, really. Um, I'm so bored. Um, it could have been much better this game. It's got the foundation to being something brilliant, but so it doesn't quite work out. I'm not sure if it came out on any other systems, but this is on the Game Boy Advance by Atari in 2003. Yeah, I don't think I can take too much more of this. Right, we'll try. Uh, we'll try another level out. Uh, what level should we give you? But this game, you can do melee attacks. There's a variety of different weapons to pick up, but all look very. Well, pretty similar to each other. Music is the best bit of this. Presentation is awesome. Look at this password screen, that looks pretty good. Background is moving. We infiltrate the gunner complex, or the bunker complex, and retrieve scrambler component. Right, I'll try my best, but we know roughly what's gonna happen here, as Arnold's posing. Make contact with Techcom soldiers, Southwest. Right, okay, where are they? Hello. Damn, everyone wants to kill me. They're supposed to be Terminators, but the graphics are so bad in this bit, they they do remind me of those terrible droids in uh, The Phantom Menace. Those battle droids. Yeah. It's probably best to run around, to be honest there. Yeah, running around is better than walking. We won't do the moonwalk. Um, right. Where's the stuff? This is a sit and duck this thing. Kaboom! My favourite Terminator is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Terminator 3 is okay. Um, Terminator 4 was, was terrible. Uh, it wasn't called Terminator 4, what was it called? Salvation, I think. Genesis was interesting, although it rewrote my favourite film, uh, the second one, so I mark it down for that. But all of them are better than this game. As I say, I might be being a bit harsh on it, I don't know. Right, energy. Yeah, I think um, it would take a lot to keep going back and completing this. One of the guys is camped out by the old airport, right? Is he? Where is the old airport? Not through there, it's a false field. So it's very repetitive, this. Shoot stuff. Um, not very exciting once you get used to it. No real incentive to get to the next stage. Um, as far as 3D isometric ones go, I prefer Spyro the Dragon. I reviewed him about a month or so ago. I even prefer the Pirates of the Caribbean first game to this one, Curse of the Black Pearl. Anyway, here's a key card I recovered for a door west of here. Well, thanks very much. This is when we need this is when we need a portal to get to the other place. West, right? So use your compass in the top left to head gradually west, or um, get fed up trying. Oh, won't be, I won't be back. Yeah. There's a few bad Terminator games about the place. I've reviewed a few on the Commodore Amiga. Head into this magnetic... No, this manhole. Nick, learn to read. You need glasses. Right, how do we get out of here? Oh, there's a keycard there. Excellent. We've managed to patch into Skynet. Access the computer terminal south of here. Right, south. So this tests you. This tests you um, about your north, east, south and west. And don't fall back into the hole, Nick. Is there anything I've missed out here? Don't know why they've ring-fenced this bit off. Uh, oh damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Right, it's a bit like table tennis now. Don't fall back in the hole. No, can't go in there. So we need to go south. There's a time ticking down. So I presume we've only got a limited amount of time. Make contact with Techcom soldiers southwest of here. Southwest, right. Where's southwest? Hello, Battle to Droids. Um, they're pretty ropey at trying to detect me. Looks like they've respawned from last time. I think, uh, you know, I think we'll leave it there. I've had enough. Hopefully you've had enough. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines and the Game Boy Advance. I was by Atari in 2003. Uh, thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about this game or similar 3D isometric games or uh, retro gaming in general, then please put it below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It does help me. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.